I was shocked when I saw the first episode of Friday Night Lights when that premiered. And uh, when the quarterback is talking to a bunch of fifth and sixth graders, a kid asks him, are you going to be like Troy Aikman or Roger Staubach, who retired about 20 years before this kid would have been born. It's almost like Staubach, he's the George Washington of cowboy quarterbacks. Roger Staubach was the first athlete that I ever loved or worship, whatever term you want to use. The idea of America's team, I really believed that. So of course, I'm going to love the best player on the country's best team. Tarkington was probably the best known scrambler, but Staubach scrambling was much more aggressive to me, where instead of trying to flee guys, he seemed to actually enjoy the contact. Staubach was a fairly reckless player. I mean, that's part of the reason he got hurt so much. Even now, even now I'm 38, I still think of him in the most classically heroic way. Because when you watched cowboy games, um, even if they were behind by 14 or 17, it didn't really matter what the score was, there was a high likelihood that they would come back because so much of their success was built around Staubach's ability to bring the team back. In the 1972 divisional playoff, the former naval officer demonstrated why he earned the nickname Captain Comeback, throwing two touchdowns in the final two minutes. During an 11-year NFL career, Staubach led 15 fourth quarter comeback victories, including this one, that gave birth to the term Hail Mary. Well, the Cowboys need a miracle. Roger takes the snap, pumps it once. He's going long. Down the near sideline for Drew Pearson. Pearson makes the catch at the five. Touchdown! Would you believe it? There's probably never been a better role model than Roger Staubach, certainly in sports. He seems like the best possible American you could create. If you dreamed of having a son, it would be like Staubach. He went to the Naval Academy, won the Heisman, he was awesome there. Then he goes and fights in an unwinnable war. He was very clear that he was a religious person. He went on the NFL Today and sort of bragged about how he has a great sex life, but only with his wife. Everyone in the world compares me to Joe Namath, you know, as far as you know, the idea of off the field, he's single, bachelor swing, and I'm married and family, and you know, he's having all the fun, and you know, I enjoy sex as much as Joe Namath. <laughs> Only I do it with one girl, you know? There I mean, you that, go. But it's still fun, you know, yeah. it's the same thing. Part of the difference between Staubach and Namath, besides the obvious thing that Namath had the big sideburns and was a womanizer, is that just Namath was more image conscious than Staubach was. As a player, really comparing Staubach and Namath is crazy. Staubach was twice as good. Staubach was the MVP in Super Bowl VI and played in four World Championship games. In Super Bowl XII, he won his second ring. Roger goes deep across the middle, way downfield, and punch Johnson caught, touchdown! Staubach is arguably the best quarterback of the 70s. When he retired, he had the highest quarterback ranking at the time of all time. So he was technically the best passer in the history of the game. I appreciate my teammates through the years because I'm one that's been successful in this system. There's been a lot of good ones. And there'll be many more good ones. But I, uh, <clears throat> I thank the Cowboys and I'm retired. Aikman had more success than Staubach. He, I, I'm sure his career completion percentage is much higher because he was very accurate. I'm sure all his numbers are higher because he played at a time when it was more of a passing league. But I don't know if there'll ever be a point when people talk about the greatest Cowboys that Staubach isn't seen as their starting quarterback. There's no way anyone can be better than him because he kind of created the template for what being a great Cowboy quarterback is. the all-American guy. The alter ego of a guy like Joe Namath. You know, I enjoy sex as much as Joe Namath. <laughs>
Only I do it with one girl. He did so much for the Cowboys. Started off their dynasty with Landry. Roger Staubach's one of the few quarterbacks that you could drop into pro football. Right now, just, just boop, and he'd be Russell Wilson and Andrew Luck put together. Got to be an all-day affair. Play together all day long. Let's go. Even if you weren't a Cowboy fan, how could you root against Roger Staubach? I grew up a Giants fan. I hated watching that guy. Here's a guy that did it after he did his military service. He came back after that and still was a badass. The longest pass play of the year for Roger Staubach. Imagine what he would have done if he hadn't have done the Navy. Our number nine quarterback did plenty in his nine years as the Cowboys starter, earning six Pro Bowl berths and a cool nickname. He was incredibly athletic. Roger the Dodger, able to escape pressure. Got away from one, got away twice. The Roger the Dodger thing is very real. But do you think people realize that he led the league in passing four times? When he retired, he went out as the highest rated passer in the history of professional football. And a beautiful pinpoint pass by Roger Staubach. Leading Dallas to two Super Bowl titles, Staubach made the Cowboys a national sensation. The Dallas Cowboys. They were called America's team. And he was Captain America. We felt he was bigger than life. Got more out of the players he was playing with than anybody else. And that's another leadership quality, where you get guys to perform up and above where they're normally capable of performing. His one loss record as a Cowboy starter was 95 and 35. 23 times he engineered fourth quarter comeback victories. As a young 49er fan, Watching in 1972, Roger Staubach is down 11 points at the two-minute warning and somehow wins that game. The throw is into the end zone and it's a touchdown. The Cowboys have left them away the lead. Sickening. Well, the Cowboys need a miracle. Thank heavens for Roger Staubach. He gave us a little old-time religion and gave us a play that we still remember. Pumps and watch. He's going long. When I threw in the forward pass, I closed my eyes and said, Hail Mary. Pearson makes the catch at the five, touchdown! What you believe in? Based on the era he played in, the competition he faced, some of the greatest football teams in history, it took an alliance of a truly great Pittsburgh Steeler team and the clock to defeat the Dallas Cowboys. I would move Starbuck up. And I hate the Dallas Cowboys. I'm a giant fan. He's a top five guy for me. The biggest thing about Roger was the fact that he never quit. It didn't matter how much the Cowboys were down. I remember in, in uh, San Francisco, they were ahead of us 14 or 15 points, and it was three minutes to go or something, and they were coming by our bench and hollering obscene things at us and talk, calling us losers. And, and, and I'll never forget, Roger pulled the game out, and a few seconds before it was over, uh, completed a pass to Lee Falkins, and we beat him. was the greatest comeback I'd ever seen, but he did it over and over and over throughout the years. I believe that Roger was going to win every game that we played in, no matter how much time was left in the ball game. I always believed that Roger could win the game. Well, the Cowboys need a miracle. Roger takes the snap. Pumps and wants it. He's going long. Down the near sideline for Drew Pearson. Pearson. Makes the catch at the five, touchdown! Staubach hit Pearson on a 50-yard touchdown. What you believe it? The greatest thing about Roger Staubach was he was a tremendous competitor. You could not do anything with Roger. I don't care what you were doing, whether you were just taking a 40-yard a sprint or you were playing one-on-one -on -one basketball, he's not going to let you beat him. I don't care what the stakes are, whether it's just for fun, that's what made him great. Like all quarterbacks, Roger Staubach had an intense desire to win. And like all the great quarterbacks, he could communicate that desire to his receivers, often lifting them above their normal capabilities.
Kobach had a certain sense of confidence in himself and in the team that caught the imagination of players and fans alike. Part of him was as sweet and as innocent as a choir boy. But the part of him that was a football player was a pure killer. I tell you, when I went out against other teams, they were the enemy. I mean, they, I didn't like them. And I, I didn't particularly, after the game, go over and want to shake everybody's hand either. I mean, I, I wasn't a poor sport, but heck, that's, you know, those guys are the, the guys that you need to play again, you need to beat them again, and you can't, you can't get too close to your enemy. More than a quarterback, Roger Staubach.